To find the countdown's craziest collector, we're heading into the heart of the American desert. It lives surrounded by its remarkable collection, often hidden deep within caves. Meet the pack rat. This small desert rodent is famous for collecting a variety of objects near its nest. Pieces of plant, rocks, bones, or even dung. The pack rat will take them home and add them to the tangled fortress called a midden. Held together by organic glue made from the pack rat's urine, the midden is a refuge from predators and the extreme temperatures found in the desert. It's amazing what you can find in a pack rat's midden. It's a popular superstition that the pack rat is a fair trader. In some places, it's even called the trade rat because if it steals something, it'll usually leave something behind in its place. When it's carrying one trophy, the rat may see another that's more attractive. Since it can't carry both, it has to put down the first to pick up the second. In the past, many miners woke to find they were left with a stick instead of a wristwatch or a spoon. Generations of pack rats can live in the same area, building huge middens five feet tall and ten feet wide. No wonder object hoarding humans are often called pack rats. One of the most amazing human collectors built his very own midden in the heart of Los Angeles. In 1921, a humble Italian immigrant named Simon Rodia purchased a small house in the Watts district and started collecting thousands of pieces of broken bottles, tiles, seashells, corn cobs, and even a pair of women's boots. Fortunately, this human pack rat used concrete instead of urine to bind everything onto the sculptural tower soaring 100 feet high. He spent more than 33 years creating what's now called the Watts Junk Towers. As curator for the Los Angeles Cultural Affairs Department, Jeffrey Herr explains. What you're seeing today is sort of the ultimate backyard do-it-yourself project. This was the backyard of his house. And what he did was he took iron rebar, he took concrete, and he took an enormous amount of the detritus of, of everyday living. While this looks random, it has a definite design. Collectors have something in mind. At some point during this period of building, he was asked why he was doing it. And his answer was, I had in my mind, I'm going to do something big. Well, he did something big, obsessively, but he did it. Now part of the Watts Towers Art Center, the structures are a lasting monument to an extraordinary collector and are likely to last many more years to come. But even these structures of concrete and steel will disappear thousands of years before the middens of a real pack rat. Pack rats are number one in the countdown because their nests are valuable resources. Their middens are often used by many generations before the pack rats abandon their caves and move on to start new nests. But the middens remain, often for thousands of years. Coated in a varnish of rat urine, the plant and animal material is so wonderfully preserved that it's opening a window into the past for paleontologists. Careful study of the plant remains in ancient middens tells us that the desert was a very different place 30,000 years ago. A 
Analysis shows the ancient rats collected dung and bone fragments from long extinct animals like mammoths, giant ground sloths, and saber-toothed cats. These ancient giants are long gone, but the pack rat remains, despite the best efforts of modern predators. And it owes part of its success to the benefits of living inside its magnificent midden. Some of these urine-covered hordes are 40,000 years old and still going strong. And that's why, when it comes to crazy collections, the pack rat really is the most extreme.